Hello class, Professor Anderson here. Let's take a look at a word problem dealing with Newton's second law. And let's, let's uh, take this one with uh, rubber bands, okay? So we have two rubber bands that are gonna be tied to an object and they're gonna accelerate that object at A. How many rubber bands would it take to accelerate M over two at 5A? Anybody have a thought on this one, how I might approach it? Megan, what do you think? How should I approach this? I feel like you should set it up like M1 over M2 equals A1 over A2. Okay. M1 over M2 equals A1 over A2. Possibly. But if I did that, what would I really be saying? Ben, what do you think? That something changes, right? What changes? Okay, certainly the mass has changed, the acceleration has changed. If both of those things have changed, then what else in our picture has changed? The force, right? So we have to be a little bit careful about it. Now, when you're facing this sort of problem, right, you have a bunch of words sitting in front of you, right, and you're like, oh, now what do I do? I think you should probably draw a picture. Okay, let's do a picture of this object. So in the first case, we have an object. There's our object. And we have two rubber bands that are tied to it. And they're gonna pull on it. Okay, and they're pulling on it, each with a force F. All right, this is our mass M. So this could be your block on ice. Maybe we're looking at the side view of this thing. We're not gonna worry about any friction or anything like that. What can we say? Well, sum of the forces is equal to the mass times the acceleration. In this case, I have two forces, right? Two rubber bands tied to it. So I get 2F equals MA. What about the other picture? Well, the other picture looks like this. It's half the mass, m over two, and we're gonna have a bunch of rubber bands tied to this thing. We don't know how many, but let's say there are n rubber bands, and each one is applying a force f. All right. Sum of the forces is equal to the mass times the acceleration, but we know that the mass got cut in half and the acceleration went to 5A. And now what is the left side of this equation? Well, when I had two, it was 2F. If I have N, it is of course just NF. NF is equal to M over two times five A. And now we're trying to solve this thing for N. Hmm, how can I do that? Well, looks like this equation we can just solve for F. F is MA over two. And now this equation, I can solve it for N. N is 5MA over 2, all of that over F. And now look what happens. I can stick that F right in there, and I get N is equal to 5, the MA over 2 from there, cancels with the MA over 2 from there, and I just get N equals 5. Okay, how many rubber bands are needed? Five rubber bands are needed. The other way you can see this is the following. If I had two rubber bands accelerating M, then one rubber band could accelerate M over two. And if it only took one to go at A, then it would take five to go at five A. 